So before we begin, I want to remind you to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you can be made aware every time we put out a new video. And remember to check us out on Instagram, and now you can also find us on Facebook for exclusive content. Let's get to it. Hey everybody, uh, another update for you today. Actually, quite a bit coming out today, which is good because there's really, it's been not a lot over the past, uh, over the past week, really not a lot of information. But there's three points of interest that I found today that have come out um, for, uh, that relate directly to, to Universal. First and foremost is that Orange County, where Universal Studios is, is going to allow the COVID-19 state of emergency executive order to expire today, as it is scheduled to do. Uh, Mayor Jerry Demings has made this announcement that he's going to let it expire this, this as soon as today, this afternoon, because the, the, the declining uh, positivity rate is, is down to 3.51%. And it's the 17th straight day that this rate has been under 5%. That's great news. And that's great news regarding Orange County and the fact that fewer people are getting sick. And um, it gets us back to a little more sense of, uh, of a new norm or a normal or whatever you want to call it. Also, we are finding that the bus loop right there at CityWalk, at the, the kind of the main hub there as you're getting in, is being demolished. And it looks like they're going to be redoing that. Now, if you're staying at one of the on-site resorts uh, that has the water taxi availability, that's not going to impact you. But if you're staying, you know, at In the Summer, uh, Cabana Bay or something like that, where you do use the bus to get there, that will impact you. The drop off is much further away. So you're going to have a longer walk. I uh, don't know how long th this uh, is going to take, but the construction is already underway. And then uh, the next bit of news is that uh, severe weather is expected for Central Florida uh, tomorrow, Thursday, October the 28th. It looks like uh, a very active weather day with a strong cold front coming in through the area, high winds, some tornadoes and heavy rain. They're expecting to take place early Thursday morning, just north of Orlando. So if you are planning a trip for tomorrow, for Thursday, you might want to rethink that. That is your update for today. Uh, as always, go do something amazing for somebody else. Go bless somebody else. Watch what happens in your life. We'll see you.